Today we're going to introduce you to the user experience of the new PAM interface. You can see that access to our platform is purely based on a browser. So that can be anything from Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Edge for Chromium, and a few other examples. In this particular example, I'm logging in with my non-privileged Active Directory user. So I don't have to remember multiple passwords. And with Siri and PAM, we're very much identity or user in and privilege out. Once I've logged in, depending on my profile membership, I'm displayed a list of devices with several different access methods and access levels. I've got a wide variety of devices in this particular environment, domain controllers, Windows servers, web portals, uh, Unix servers, and firewalls. For this particular server, I may have to submit a request for approval that needs to then get approved before I can access the device. This is very useful if you're looking to provide access to third parties. As a user, I'm able to search and view the devices that I have access to and observe the access levels. In this example, I can see that I've got direct RDP access and I've also got access using an application which is Active Directory users and computers. I've also got access to use some certain accounts such as local accounts, my own personal domain admin account and even a role based account which our PAM solution can automatically provision. Once the user accepts the terms of use for a recorded session, the session will establish within their browser. This is in fact an RDP over SSL connection. And if I, as the user unknowingly may have malware on my workstation, this isn't able to propagate to the target. And once that connection is established, I have what looks and feels to me as the user, a native RDP session where I can work in within the context of my browser or whilst using a privileged account that I do not know the password of. And just to prove that I am who I say I am and I am that user, we can see that we've used PAM to elevate my privileges up to my underscore ADM account without actually knowing the password. And we go ahead and sign out. We could have a look at another tier of access now, which is providing users access to a specific application or a tool. In this case, we could be a level two engineer who needs to access the domain over Active Directory users and computers to administrate the users, but this user may not need or have or require access to use RDP, as that could be potentially risky. So with our map server technology, we're able to provide granular access to a specific application and only that application, as we can see here. So I can interact with the application and do anything that I need to do as long as the account has the appropriate level of privilege, of course. But you can see here, there's no way that I can access the file system of my target device. There's no way that I might be able to go and access DNS or group policy or look and use things that I shouldn't have access to based on my job role. Also whilst working in a secure recorded connection. The final tier of access we can look to provide is task based access, where a user can be given access to just a particular task and nothing more. So the user is going to work solely within the confines of the PAM session at this point. They're not even going to connect out to the target. But what they're able to do is become a bit more productive. As an organization, you could shift left some of these keeping the lights on type tasks to lower privileged members of staff, level one engineers in a help desk or even third parties. Multiple devices can be selected for part of the task. And then when you press execute, the PAM server is going to run the task on behalf of the user and carry that out in two seconds flat. So what we're left is the users are much more productive and from an organization's perspective, you're a lot more secure as users can simply run tasks rather than connecting to devices. And that's a wrap for today's session. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch.